Honorable Speaker, the Competition Authority has been moribund since its formation. And I want to hope and pray that David Kimei is a man who will make this authority have teeth to bite. Because, Honorable Speaker, we're in a country where corporates like Safaricom want to operate like a monopoly and they do not desire to have competition from anybody, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I was shocked the other day when there was a lot of debate online and across the country from a letter that was done by Safaricom to the Communications Authority on the rollout of uh, Starlink satellite technology in Kenya. Honorable Speaker, as much as Safaricom may have a point in terms of the national security issues and issues touching on traceability of the gadgets and where they are and for what purpose they are being used, but we see corporates like Safaricom and others, Honorable Speaker, who take advantage of their dominance in the market to kill competition in the country. And any economy without competition, Honorable Speaker, people will be taken advantage of. Honorable Speaker, if you look at the case of Starlink, Kenyans today are paying an average of 1,300 per month for data that is quick, is very fast, is easy to access, and you can access it from any corner of the country, irrespective of whether there's a base station or not. Why would anybody, Honorable Speaker, want to derail Kenyans from accessing such technology? Simply because you have invested over the years in base stations. If you have been slow in advancing your technology with changing times in the world, Honorable Speaker, it is not the problem of Kenyans. And this is where the competition authority must come in and step in and ensure that no corporate in this country and nobody is able to deny Kenyans the right of choice because that is all competition is about. Competition is about the right to choice. Kenyans must be able to choose, even with Kenya Power and Lighting Company, we must be able to choose whether we want power connected to our homes by KPLC or by another competitor, Honorable Speaker, who can distribute power from the national grid. It cannot be that since for the last 60 years, we have depended on KPLC, and in this day and age where people are even, uh, Honorable Speaker, I saw some, something online, I think it was in India or Bangladesh, where people are using solar lighting and creating a grid in a village by interconnecting their own solar panels across their village. That is the beauty of technology that we must harness to ensure that we leverage on the innovations of our young people in this country, Honorable Speaker, to make sure that there is competitive trade in our economy to ensure that at the end of the day, the ordinary Kenyan is able to access either services or products at the cheapest possible cost, whether it is data, whether it is airtime, Honorable Speaker, and as much as I don't like Elon Musk, Honorable Speaker, I saw him promising us that with time we'll be able to make emergency calls for free by converting our cell phones to satellite phones. This is the kind of innovation and technology we want so that I do not have to pay three shillings per minute for airtime that could be free for heaven's sake. Honorable Speaker, I support this nomination, but I want to ask Mr. David Kemei to make sure that the Competition Authority has teeth to bite and ensure Kenyans get value for their money and the industry, all industries are competitive. With that, I support. The MP for Wajir North, the Honorable Sene. Sene, are you in the house? Because I see your name here. Uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you. Uh, I have no problem with the nominee uh, of the opposition as the Director General. David Kibet Kimei is qualified and competent to do the job. However, Mr. Speaker, I have serious concerns on how opportunities are being shared in this country. Mr. Speaker, ethnicity, marginalization, diversity, very important values that are so clear in our constitutions are just on paper, they are not in action. 
opportunities has become the preserve of only the major tribes in this country. Mr. Speaker, I'm not a flower girl to sit in this house to always approve names for only few communities, Mr. Speaker. Kenya belongs to 47 tribes, 47 tribes. Day in, day out, we are approving names. I ask, are other Kenyans not competent? Are they not qualified? I'm reminded of the predecessor of this gentleman, David Kibet. One Dr. Adano has been acting for 21 months, 21 months in the same position. That begs many questions. There were so many irregularities in the recruitment of officers in the same office. So my concern, in as much as I approve the appointment of Kibet, Kenya doesn't belong to two to three or four tribes. Kenya belongs to 47 tribes. I don't know when an Ajuran, who is a, which is a tribe also in this country, a nominee from that community shall come to the floor of this house and we approve one from that community. There is the monopoly of only appointing people from few tribes. Kenya is one and our unity is manifest in the 47 communities or tribes, Mr. Speaker. In as much as I, I approve the nominee, I beg for regional balance. I beg for equity. I beg that all Kenyans are treated equally. I beg that Somali is not an ethnic, it's an ethnicity but not a tribe. That the Somali community is a nation of tribes. And many a times we are shrouded and we are being concealed in that name. So my concern is, let be get, be, uh, Kibet be approved. But let Kenya belong to 47 tribes, not in name, by, but by action. I support, but I am not happy. I am not happy. I am crestfallen in the way in which public service is being just given to few, clans, to few tribes, Mr. Speaker. Otherwise, I approve. Thank you. The Honorable Makilap. Makilap. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable members, please consult in law. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order. Yeah, protecting me from the leadership here. They are doing loud consultation. The Honourable Kimani Chungwa, the Honourable Osoro. Now, not mention the lady's name. She's my <laughs> colleague. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Proceed. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First, I rise to support uh, David Kibet Kemei for appointment to the position of Director General of Com uh, Competition Authority of Kenya. So, Speaker, during the, interview, during the vetting process, the one David K uh, Kemei showed a lot of experience and knowledge in the area, in matters of law, in matters of competitors. He has first knowledge in the industry. So, Speaker, just following what the leader of majority has said, David Kemei has a job to be done in Kenya. One, Mr. Speaker, is to ask David Kemei if he gets approval of this house to sort out competition in the power sector, as the leader of majority has said, so that Kenya power does not enjoy monopoly or power in this country, Mr. Speaker. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, in Safaricom, m -Pesa, competition between m -Pesa and commercial banks and microfinances, Mr. Speaker, an industry that is not regulated by law. Mr. Speaker, that needs to be sorted out. That is a job waiting for one David Kemei. Mr. Speaker, in the manufacture of semen, Mr. Speaker, in this country there is one manufacturer who does the, the clinker, who does the manufacture of and processing of semen is the manufacturer, is the wholesaler, is the retailer, and is the distributor. So, Speaker, how do you expect the small business people to compete? So, Speaker, that is an area that requires to be sorted out. Similarly to steel manufacturer, is the one manufacturing steel, it does the distribution, it does the retail, Mr. Speaker, and it does the mining. 
or pellets, among other things, Mr. Speaker. How do you expect a small Asla who has opened their shop in Baringo North, for example, Mr. Speaker, to compete with that kind of uh, uh, manufacturer? So, Mr. Speaker, this is an industry that requires a man of caliber of David Kibet to be able to sort out the things that are affecting that particular industry, Mr. Speaker, including taxes, Mr. Speaker. A situation where order, one order, tax regime. Order, members, order. I can understand. One, order. Just a sec. I can understand there's a lot of excitement today in the House. But please, <laughs> do, do consult in law tones, allow the Honorable Makilap to be heard. Proceed, Makilap. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What is it in competition, Mr. Speaker? Competition must be able to create a, 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 a fair playground for all business people in Kenya. This is the man that will be able to put in order monopolies in business. Look at the milk industry, Mr. Speaker. The milk industry, the milk production and, and the value chain in the milk industry is skewed towards one competitor who works very hard to kill the other industries, including ACC. Mr. Speaker, this milk production and its value chain together with the competitors of those who process and package milk requires order so that the, the business people on the ground, the people who produce milk and keep cows, will be able to have value for money for their uh, milk, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there is a lot that needs to be regulated in this country so that there is fair competition so that the people who want to build the economy, the young economies, will be able to build in the internet sector, Mr. Speaker, and the digital economy. Mr. Speaker, there is need to up order in that area, Mr. Speaker, so that everyone has a play and has a space to play in growing the economy of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, I support one David Kibet for the appointment for Director General of Competition Authority of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. The MP for Jomfu, buddy, buddy. Mwishima Badi Badi. Yes. Uh, asante sana mwishima speaker kwa kunipatia fursa hii leo ili na mimi kuungana pamoja na wenzangu kuchangia katika mada hii. Leo mwishima speaker mimi nataka pia kushikana pamoja na wajumbe wenzangu katika kuunga mkono e, uteuzi wa e, bwana David Kimei katika halmashauri ya ushindani yani director general katika competition authority vile vile mheshimiwa speaker niko na sababu ambazo zinanifanya kuwa niweze kuunga mkono hoja hii ni kwa sababu bwana David Kimei ameongelelewa na wengi sana juu ya utendakazi wake na kuwa ni mtu ambaye ataweza kusaidia katika kuona kuwa halmashauri hii inaweza kunawili Mheshimiwa Speaker tumeona kiongozi wetu wa wengi ndugu Kimani Chungwa akizungumzia juu ya hali ilivyo katika Kenya Power na ni muhimu pia na mimi niunge mkono kusema kwa mambo kama haya Ni muhimu kuona kwa mtu mwananchi anaweza kujichagulia lakini hali ilivyo mwananchi anayekuwa katika hali kwa hana budi lazima awe ataweza kutumia moto wa Kenya Power Vile vile mheshimiwa speaker nataka kumwambia bwana David Kimei ya kwa kuwa hii kazi yake ni ngumu sana na lazima ajitolee na serikali impe nguvu ya kuona kuwa namna gani wale mabwenyenye ambao watakuwa wakitaka kuzuia ili waweze kumonopolize biashara kuona kuwa ameweka ushindani wa kila moja Mheshimiwa Speaker nikisema hivyo ni kumaanisha kuna uwekezaji wa nafaka yani grain handling ambao kuna makampuni pia Mheshimiwa Speaker wanataka kujitolea kuona kuwa kule Mombasa washindane pamoja na wengine ili wafanye biashara ile lakini wanaekewa vikwazo vingi 
katika kuona kuwa wanaweza na wao kuingia katika uwanja wa ushindani ili kufanya mambo yale kijana mmoja mkurugenzi mdogo sana pale anaitwa Muhammad D ambaye yeye alingangana pande ya mambo ya documentation na mengine mingi kuona kuwa ili aweze katika hiyo kampuni ishindane na wale mabonye nyingine mwisho wa speaker hatuwezi kuenuka ikiwa tutaacha wale mwabwenyenye peke yao wenye nguvu wafanye biashara kwa hivyo mimi nasema ni muhimu huyu bwana David Kimei aone kuwa tukimpelekea maneno pia kumwambia awe ataweza kuasikiza ili aweze kufungua mlango wa ushindani wa kibiashara na mambo mengine katika watu wetu vile vile leo tuna hasara mheshimiwa speaker imepatikana mafuta kule Turkana ambapo kwa zamani sisi pale Mombasa kwetu kulikuwa na orfenari pale Changamwe hivi sasa imefungwa hakuna ushindani ambao unaweza kuendelea mafuta haya yanapatikana yanachukuliwa kupelekwa nchi za nje wanafanyiwa na maana kuwa refined kisha tunarudishwa tunauziwa kwa hivyo hiyo kwa Kiswahili nasema ni goji kirba kirba goji yani sisi tuna mafuta tutoe nje tufanywe refining alafu kisha turudishwe hii kampuni of refinery lazima ifufuliwe na serikali ili iweze kushindana na wale waarabu wengine pale katika nchi za nje na kutupa kazi katika watu wetu ambao walikuwa nafanya katika refinery ile leo mshua speaker watu wengi wamefutwa kazi watu wengi wameenda kutafuta kazi katika nchi za nje mdogo wa mamangu mwenyewe bwanake alikuwa anaitwa kibwana anafanya refinery kwa experience yake baada ya kufungwa leo ameenda kufanya kazi Qatar katika nchi za nje kusaidia watu wengine na hali hii miradi ikiweza kufunguliwa wanaweza kuleta ushindani na watu wetu kufanya kazi hapa kwa hivyo mheshimiwa speaker nashukuru sana na nampongeza David Kimei thank you sana sana madam ngelechei the mp for elgoy marakwet followed by mam uh, akifuatwa na mheshimiwa mazamzam thank you so much mr speaker for giving me this opportunity and uh, mr speaker i want to contribute to the uh, appointment of mr kemei i know david kemei personally as a person and he is someone a very hard working person who has actually steered a very successful dgmb solutions limited and uh, uh, has proven to be somebody who can take an organization from one level to another and that is the experience that we need in the public service nowadays mr speaker because many a times we fail not because we don't have the right people with different with the right knowledge but experience 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 is the best way we can handle this uh, noble organization last mr speaker uh, kemei is also somebody who is known to be very transparent very honest this is somebody you can depend upon and this is somebody who is you can guarantee that can discharge his duties without fear and favor i therefore support the committee mr speaker on the issue of david kemei thank you mr speaker mheshimiwa zamzam asante sana mheshimiwa speaker Uh, kwanza kabla sijaendelea niweze kuelezea wale ambao wanashughulika na IT ama pale juu wasiweze kutoa mazungumzo yangu maana yake tumeingia bunge tuzungumze watu wetu wanaangalia mheshimiwa speaker uh, mheshimiwa speaker nichukue fursa hii niweze kumshukuru na kumpongeza ndugu yetu David Kemei kwa uh, kuteuliwa katika shirika katika almashauri hii mheshimiwa ya mheshimiwa speaker Mheshimiwa speaker ni mtu ambaye amekuwa David Kemea amekuwa ni mtu mwenye mujitama ambao wa kueleweka ni mtu ambaye amejiweka katika hadhi ambayo inatakiwa kuwekwa katika almashauri hii mheshimiwa speaker Mheshimiwa speaker nikiweza kupigia upato ndugu yangu mheshimiwa Badi ni kwa naweza kusema hivi mheshimiwa speaker Almashauri nyingi mheshimiwa speaker Unapata kama alivyozungumza wana ile mambo ya kufanya biashara mtu mmoja yani monopoli yeye mtu mmoja ndio anataka kufanya biashara peke yake mheshimiwa speaker na mimi nataka kusema kwa mfano 
ile ile green bulk ya, ya handlers ya kule Mombasa unapata kuna wenzetu ambao wana uwezo kufanya biashara hii mheshimiwa speaker lakini mtu mmoja amekatalia yeye peke yake ndo anafanya hiyo biashara mheshimiwa speaker wenzake wamepewa nafasi wenzake wamepewa nafasi ya kufanya lakini unaona mambo yenda kotini na nini kwa hiyo tunajua uh, ndugu yetu David Kemei anaweza kainyoosha mheshimiwa speaker na mambo yakawa sawa mheshimiwa speaker tunaangalia pia katika almashauri ya uh, stima mheshimiwa speaker kuna mambo mengi ambayo yanaendelea na akiweza kutoa mwanya ambao tutapata wengine ambao waweza kufanya shughuli hizi mheshimiwa speaker ikawa uh, mambo ya sima yanaenda vizuri mheshimiwa speaker kwa hiyo mimi nataka leo kumpongeza na pia ni mwambie ndugu yangu badi pole sana kupoteza bodyguard wako Mwenyezi Mungu amrehemu amuhifadhi na wema na Mwenyezi Mungu akupe nguvu ndugu yangu badi asante sana mheshimiwa speaker Lilian Kogo Yes uh, order Lilian Thank you so much uh, honorable speaker Yes um, Owen Bayer Honorable right, speaker while well, I support the sentiments uh, on uh, David Kimei but in this debate on the point of irrelevance is it really right for the, for all the members to fight a company without a substantive motion the issue of grain bulk is being fronted as if it is the main motion grain bulk is a respectable company that is doing good business out there but when we drag its name here because of i don't know whatever war they have in mombasa i think it's unfair for this company for the staff of that company and for the organization called grain bulk i think we need as a country to support this organization without having really to badmouth them in parliament just because you cannot compete with them out there. Honorable Speaker, I think they need to withdraw those statements and stick to the motion on David Keme and competition without necessarily having to badmouth a company that has done Kenya great job when no one could handle grain in this country. Grain Bulk came and invested. Is it really right for us to fight Grain Bulk Limited in this chamber? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Hold, uh... Zamzam, wiko nini? Hapana. Asante mheshimiwa speaker. Nataka ni mwelezee mheshimiwa Owen Baya. Jua kuweka matusi kando na maneno kando. Nimesema anafanya kazi nzuri lakini atoe mwanya wa wenzake pia kuweza kufanya biashara ile ile. Siwe ni mtu mmoja. Kwa hiyo hatuja mtukana, hatuja mtusi, usiweke fitna. Hii ni bunge ambayo tunataka mgao katika serikali ama mgao katika taifa uelekee kwa wakenya wote mheshimiwa speaker. Kwa hiyo mheshimiwa baya, mimi ni mpwani wewe ni mpwani na unajua bandari ni yetu sisi sote lazima tuweke wakenya wote waweze kupata matunda ndani ya bandari. Asante sana mheshimiwa speaker. Lilian Kogo. I really thank you honorable speaker to, uh, for giving me this opportunity to also rise and support the uh, nomination of one uh, uh, David Kemei to be the Director General of Competition Authority. And I want to congratulate him. Uh, he's well known in his astuteness in the work that he does. And Honorable Speaker, the point I wanted to add on to what my colleagues have already said is that the appointment of Honorable uh, uh, Kemei comes at a point when uh, as Kenyans, we are um, entangled in a system where we have the national debate on inclusivity. We have the agenda of everybody and all of us being included. I appreciate his uh, qualifications. I appreciate his experience. But he's coming at a time, Honorable Speaker, when the national dialogue and the national agenda is on inclusivity. So I want to appreciate the work that the committee has done, but I still also want to impl implore Kenyans. I want to implore Kenyans and tell them and tell us that it is important that when uh, distributing the national cake, that honorable speaker, that we include all regions, honorable, honorable speaker. At the time that Kenya stands, 
Most Kenyans have been exposed to education, Honorable Speaker. At the place where we find Kenya, Honorable Speaker, most Kenyans are experienced, Honorable Speaker. At the point where I stand, uh, Honorable Speaker, most Kenyans have the capacity to do a good job. So I would implore, Honorable Speaker, that as we appoint uh, noble Kenyans in the various capacities so for them to serve this country, I pray that we follow the, uh, the desire of the